Here's a one minute history of Nistel's Magic Aura in D&D 5e. In first edition, it started off pretty broad, but specific to items giving it a false aura and a check to that false aura when detected. The item could also only be valued up to 50 gold pieces per level, which prevented extremely rare items and artifacts from being used until way later in the game. In second edition, that detection got a little more dicey, being detectable 50% of the time. Second edition also removed the 50 gold pieces, but changed it to 5 pounds per level, reducing the size or density of the object that got the aura. Third edition added specific verbiage around identify being able to see through the aura and also noted weapons, armor, or shields must be of common make otherwise the aura was suspicious. Weight leveling was kept as well. Fifth edition then added to the chaos by putting mask into the spell. It would not have been that hard to leave it out and keep with tradition, but no, I'm sure Wizard's Coast will get it right in the sixth edition. 